art show took place at the Station House in St. Petersburg recently. It was a student-driven idea starting with concept to completion. Jenny Truin gave us some background on the show. The ladies in the IB program that wanted to do their cast project on, really they, they, they wanted to help somebody. They wanted to help the community in some way and they decided that they wanted to help the St. Pete High art program and do, doing funding and that sort of thing so we can do special things with our students. It involved you know getting the word out, getting a venue, um, getting a place to have the show. Um, you know they did everything from finding that place, renting the space, creating t-shirts. I, you know, like, it was a lot. They, they really, they, it was months in planning. Um, they really advocated for us. It was probably the, you know, the most generous, kindest act that anybody has ever done for this art program. The inaugural was a huge success, and it has resulted in a plan for similar shows in the future. There was well over a hundred pieces and they came from the art 2D classes and the art 3D classes here at school, but there was also an all call for the entire school for anybody who would like to submit work. They printed invitations which they supplied all the artwork for and topography and printing uh, and dissemination. Uh, these are four focused young ladies and I'm thrilled now that we had the feedback and the response that we did and it's going to be a yearly event from now on out. We will absolutely be sure to do this again. Absolutely. One of the students who helped create the show is Vivian Dumas, a junior at St. Petersburg High School. I'm in the IB program so to graduate I have to do something called CAS which is Creativity, Activity and Service and we have to have this big project and this was our big project and it was creativity for the art and service to donate the money to the art department. I've always wanted to do an art show for my cast project ever since they told me that it was a thing. So, and then it was, I got some people to do it with me because I needed help. And then the group kind of grew from there and it was the four of us. It was a very big success and everybody's been telling me it was like, a, like the best cast project this year and it was like the one thing that everybody was looking forward to and loved. So. I am very quick with most things because if I spend too much time on it, I'll get bored and ruin it unintentionally, but it'll, it'll just get boring. So I try to get at, like it done as fast as possible. So um, most of the pieces I got done within a day. And I think the the watercolor with all the faces, the black and white, that took me the most and it was like a month or two because it was watercolor with one shade. So it, it was a lot. Jason Hollenberg, a freshman, has always been interested in photography. He has taken the course as an elective at St. Petersburg High School. He told us what inspires him. So all my photos are inspired by things I enjoy. So the cereal one, the edit with the clouds in the cereal, Fruity Pebbles, which is the cereal in the picture, they're like my favorite, my favorite cereal, and it's like a joke around my household that like I always eat Fruity Pebbles for breakfast, and so I combined that with the first photograph I took in this class, which was off my dock outside, and I edited, it, I edited the milk as the clouds, the clouds is the milk pouring into the cereal, and the New York City one with the picture of Jay-Z faded into the background. That is kind of made to express my love for New York City because I've only been there a couple times, but I'm fortunate that I've gotten to go there at all. And I love New York City, I love Jay-Z. So it's like, again, two of my favorite things. The cat with the Legos, that one is an interesting story because I was going, it was a perspective shot. So I had the Lego set up and it was from a low vantage point. So it was gonna be shooting up. And then my cat brought, my mom brought the cat outside and she put the cat on the railing on our balcony. And so the cat walked by and I captured that right at the moment. I was like, oh, this is perfect. It looked like the cat was knocking over the building like Godzilla or something. 
Miss Bolak. She has different assignments for us every week to photograph, and each one I find like interesting. And I'm like, oh, I can use this to branch off and shoot different photographs using this skill that we learned. So that's kind of like what I've been inspired by. Everyone has someone who inspires them. In senior Abigail Brogdon's eyes, one of our most famous is someone she looks up to. I believe Walt Disney is such an entrepreneur and someone who should be looked up to. And I really wanted to capture his essence in a painting. I believe he's a remarkable man. I just wanted to capture that. He's my idol, Walt Disney, the whole franchise. You know, when I was a kid, I'd just pop in a movie and it'd feel just like at home. And then I would watch all his interviews from way back in the 1940s. And he was like a father figure in a way. It's not just the entertainment icon that Abigail admires. Genius also has its place in her world. I chose Einstein to sculpt because I believe, I like to capture the brilliant, the brilliant people of our eras. And I think Einstein really portrays one of the most brilliant people that have walked this earth. So I really wanted to capture that. And how did Abigail feel about her participation in putting this show together? We asked her. My take from it was how to work with people, um, how to talk to people about your art, because normally I just send it off and I hear back about my art, but this time it was totally different. So it was, I had a good, really good time. I just got accepted into Ringling College of Art and Design for directing and stop motion. So I believe that education is the first step. And after that one, well, who can tell? The fourth member of the group of students who put the show together is senior Alicia Hernandez. I usually work with organic figures like uh, animals, uh, like human figure, especially female figures, because like they just give off like a nice movement to me. You gotta practice, it doesn't just come naturally. I mean sometimes, but other times it's like hard work, you gotta stay up late nights and practice figures. Um, backgrounds, shading, lighting, it's all the process. It kind of stems from uh, like my uncle and my grandmother because they inspired me to be more inspirational, like they inspire me to be creative, like tap into that um, creative side, express it in any way you can and art is my, my favorite way to do that. I usually watch um, more experienced artists work to inspire me more, to see how they evolve from where they were and to see how I can evolve further to where they are now and maybe surpass them someday. I want to be an illustrator or something in that realm to like make books or tell a story through my art because I've always been drawn to make stories through art. It's a very, it's a beautiful way to do it. Sometimes people come to St. Pete High because of the IB program or construction tech or their hospitality, whatever magnet we have. Um, and they don't realize that we have art here. So I think that this highlighted our program. Um, this is not being done anywhere else that I've taught. And I can tell you that it's working. Check out our website at www.wpds.tv for times and dates.